guys hi beautiful Ibo Nonos. welcome back to my channel this is a girl Ibo Nono, of course okay and this is Len Ibo on Ibo Nono. in today's video we're going to be talking about some Ibo grammar verbs tenses and adjectives of course in Ibo language this video is made in such a way that you're going to understand the verb and the adjective and the noun in Igbo language okay Igbo is a language spoken primarily in Nigeria and is known for its complex grammar structure says do you understand but I believe in this tense it's for those who start learning Igbo at a very late stage so let me just stop with fear in you it's not anyway complex okay but in this video I'm going to show you some of the key points on Igbo grammar including the tenses and the noun and the adjective and we're going to be starting with the verb tenses okay Igbo verb has several tenses including present tense the present tense this is used to describe actions that are currently happening for example I show him do you understand I show him or Anama kwaka or acholom ekwaka acholom ekwaka means I am washing my hand. Do you understand? This is a present tense verb. Okay, just like in English in English language. Hmm? And we have the past tense. Do you understand? This tense is used to describe actions that are already happened. For example, adehim atatu. I'm not brushing my teeth. Do you understand? Or you can you, you, you can say I did not wake up early. Okay? So basically the difference in the present tense and the past tense in Igbo language is just that nim anahim adehim achohim. Do you understand? It's just like so basically the difference I would say in the present tense and the past tense is in the present tense of course it's like English language like I said I am washing my hand Annam Asaka Annam Acholom Isaka or whichever way you want to put it okay but in the past tense is like Anahim Awaka and we have the third one which is the future tense this tense is used to describe actions that will happen in the future example Okay, example Onyo Obola Gala Olo. Onyo Obola Gala Olo. Everyone will go home. And we have number four here, which is the imperfect tense. This tense is used to describe an actions that will that we, that are like actions that are that we are ongoing in part of you know part of the tense, like actions that are ongoing in the past. Do you understand? For example, Everyone was shouting. Onyo bula na itim u. Onyo bula na itim u. Ticket. I hope you understand what I'm saying. If you're confused in any way, please put that in the comment section so that I will elaborate or I will accept it for you personally. Okay. And also we have the perfect tense. Okay. This tense is used to describe actions that were completed in the past. It's used to describe actions that were completed in the past. Do you understand? I have washed my hand. Apogum aka. I have washed my hand. Apogum aka. Do you understand? So the verb in Igbo language is very direct, just like in English language. But if you want more elaboration individually on the tenses, I made a video which I'm going to show you here. The the, the the how to how to use verbs in Igbo language, the negative and the positive verbs in Igbo language is something relatively that will teach you more if you want to know more insight okay and we go over to the noun the Igbo nouns can be either masculine or feminine just like in english right and they have different prefixes depending on their gender for example masculine prefix is o while the feminine prefix is ma. Why the pre why the feminine prefix is mm, do you understand? Ticket. Okay, let's move further. And the adjective here is the adjective in Igbo language is typically comes after the noun. Do you understand? 
in Igbo language the adjective comes after the noun they describe I don't know if I'm making sense after the noun they describe like for example a fair lady a fair lady one in a fair lady so the adjective comes after the noun okay the adjective comes after the noun a fair lady to understand and additionally adjectives in Igbo language do not change their form based on gender number or whatever the case may be okay but rather they remain the same regardless of how they are used in the sentence they remain the same regardless on how they were used in the sentence overall Igbo grammar is complex they say and require careful attention to master but with practice it can be learned and understood so don't remain on the notion that Igbo language is complex and complicated no I it's not complicated or complex for me because I started speaking Igbo as when I was little so this complexity is just referring to those who just tell learning Igbo and the earlier you remove that complexity of the language from your head the better because when you see it as being complex you cannot learn anything from it do you understand i hope this video was able to explain the adjective the noun the verb in um Igbo language in a very simple way that i felt that will that will open you up to learning this language please if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please kindly do this so give this video a thumbs up share it as well and i have some other videos to watch on my channel after watching this please click on the link in my description you'll see so many links there to watch please particularly if you're learning Igbo as a beginner make sure to you know to focus on the phrases my videos on phrases in Igbo language because the phrases together will make a sentence okay thank you and i'll see in my next video do have a wonderful day bye